Hello again. Uh, some of you know that I am collecting elements from the periodic table in an effort to have a sample of each one. It's, uh, there are some that I won't be able to get, but I'm trying to get as many as I can. This is the latest one. Uh, if you can see here, it says neon. This is actually a tube of neon gas. And um, I'm going to uh, attempt to light that up like you would light up a neon sign. Neon gas is pretty cool. And what's cool about it is that it's one of the noble gases. It doesn't react with anything. So you're not going to find things like, you know, neon ox dioxide or neon carbonate or any neon anything. It's just neon. It's sort of the introvert of gases. It, it occurs naturally in air, but it's only a tiny fraction of air. If you took all the air in your house, the amount of neon in that air would be equivalent to about one BB. Um, so not very much. So they have to they have to distill and liquefy air to get the neon out of it. As a result, neon is kind of pricey. It's uh, in high quantities right now. It's about a dollar, I think, per liter of gas, and it used to be down in the you know nickel range. So it's uh, it's gone up a lot. Cool thing about neon, and if you're familiar with neon signs, then you've uh, you've seen this. But if you put neon in a glass tube and you put uh, electrical connectors on each end of it, then if you put voltage across those, uh, if you put enough voltage, then a current will flow through there and the neon will uh, glow. And it has a characteristic sort of orange glow to it. Other uh, uh, noble gases like um, helium and argon and krypton and xenon and I uh, forget the other ones, but they they also glow but a different color so hopefully in the future I'll, I'll get some samples of those but we're gonna see if we can find a high voltage power supply and hook it up to here and uh, and watch the neon glow so if we want to make the neon in the tube glow we've got to apply some high voltage to it and by high voltage I mean in the 3000 volt range so what I've got here is called uh, a high pot tester or a high potential tester this is used to test uh, the insulation of wires or transformers or other things to see if how much voltage it can withstand before it breaks down. So this particular one uh, at its maximum output is uh, good for about 12,000 volts. So coming out of the wires from this thing at, at full uh, output is about 12,000 volts. It's fairly low current so if you touched it it would uh, knock the snot out of you but it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't kill you. So we're going to hook this up to the neon tube the the tube with neon gas in it and um, see what it looks like when when we get the voltage up high enough to actually make it uh, make it glow all right power supply is hooked up i'm going to turn out the lights so uh, hopefully this will look kind of cool and uh, now we're adjusting a 10,000 volt power supply with the lights turned off you know what what could possibly go wrong with that so here we go there we go power supply fusses because of the current, but that's what the neon uh, looks like when it lights up. Do it again. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? And that's neon.